Hello, my name is Joe Murray and I'm a staff member here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester and part of our celiac disease clinic. Today I'm talking to you about sleep and celiac disease. Um, disorders of sleep, insomnia, sleep apnea, are very common disorders in the general population and one of the commonest causes of ill health among most, uh, most people. Um, Many people complain of poor sleep. Um, in celiac disease, um, it's pretty common to see patients complain of fatigue. And one of the commonest causes of fatigue are problems with sleep. In a study we recently published with colleagues from Sweden, we examined the um, use of hypnotics. These are drugs used to help people sleep. Um, in patients with celiac disease and compare them to patients who didn't have celiac disease. And we found that there was an increased prevalence um, of people who required at least two prescriptions for hypnotics to help them sleep in patients with celiac disease. Now it was still only about 4% of the patients with celiac disease who had been given these sleep medicines. However, this is probably the most, this represents severe sleep disorders and it's quite likely that many patients have milder forms of sleep disturbance. Interestingly, sleep disturbance was increased before diagnosis, but it was also increased after diagnosis. It remained high after diagnosis of celiac, uh, of celiac disease. Now this is the second publication addressing sleep issues in patients with celiac disease. A previous study looked at a referral group of people with celiac disease and found that indeed there was more frequent problems with sleep latency, not being able to get to sleep on time, and not sleeping long enough in patients with celiac disease. Why is this? Is this because of the symptoms that people are experiencing? Is it because of um, body pain, digestive symptoms that might disturb sleep? We really don't know, but there's no doubt that sleep is important. It's important for our general health and understanding why it is upset in patients with celiac disease will be important for um, general health and shouldn't be overlooked. Thank you.